Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I didn't see you come in. Well, I'm glad you're here. Welcome back to the kitchen table of Silver Surf Wax. We've got a video for you. I just came back from the grocery store and I was thinking about how often I bring food from the store to my car and food from my car into the kitchen here. And I sat down on the kitchen table and I was thinking about how silver stackers, one of the major complaints that they have is the sheer volume of silver, how much room it takes and how difficult it is to store and to transport, which got me thinking a uh, weird thought, how much silver would fit in a grocery bag? Well, let's find out. Okay, so let's, let's clear, clear the groceries out of the way and dig into this question. How much silver would fit in a grocery bag? All right, it looks like we got ourselves some ammo cans, of course, because we love ammo cans around here. And each ammo can, as you well know, if you've been a Silver Surf Wax video watcher, has 500 ounces in each can. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this. Obviously, we got three cans per grocery bag, but reasonably, we could stand these puppies up and the size of the grocery bag would probably fit four. A grocery bag would fit 2,000 ounces of silver. It's pretty impressive. It's, it's a, I don't know if that's surprising to you. It's a little bit surprising to me because that's a lot of silver in one condensed space. Now, obviously, this is pretty silly uh, examples, silly uh, notions here. But what did you expect from a guy with the last name of Surf Wax? This is, this is on you guys. And, and oh, by the way, that's Mr. Surf Wax for you millennials. So we got three ammo cans, four that's two, or 2,000 ounces per grocery bag. How many grocery bags do you bring in a week into your house? It would seem as though your car, your life, you can fit this amount of silver. You can store it. You can transport it. This is not too bad. And that's some pretty condensed wealth, right? Thinking about just a, a thousand ounces, two cans here, right? At a thousand ounces to, at, to as of today, uh, what uh, spot price is 1840. So $18,400 $18, for, for uh, two ammo cans. And that's pretty much how much I can carry at a time, right? With these puppies weighing about 40 pounds each. Um, that's 80 pounds. I can carry two cans at a time, but that's $18,400 that you can carry to the car in one trip. That's not too bad. Now, does it compare to gold? Hardly, right? For a thousand, uh, for, for about $18,000, you're talking about just a little bit of gold. Here's, here's 10 coins, right? So we need to add two more coins to that to Let's, let's, let's add one more coin here, one more coin there. So if you're talking, if you're talking the same amount for two cans, you're talking this much gold, and that's not that's not very much. That's a tiny, tiny amount. So for sure, gold is going to store your wealth much more compactly than silver. But silver isn't too bad, and I think that's the the point I was looking to make in this video is to just kind of show that, hey, sometimes the way people store their silver, they don't store it in the ammo cans like I do. They'll store it in some of those plastic monster boxes, which are a little unwieldy and can kind of kind of fall apart on you a little easy. Or they've got a lot of different containers, little treasure chests that they're putting their silver in, or they just got their silver loose in a, in a safe. And that's going to make it a little more difficult for them to, to manipulate and to move around and to be able to transport or to keep, keep organized. So I thought I'd just uh, drive that fun point home again. And uh, now for the rest of your life, you're gonna remember that there was some dude on the internet that put silver in a grocery bag. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as, and had some fun as much as I uh, did thinking of this idea and deciding to bring it to life. Uh, 
All right, guys, have a good one. Silver Surf Wax out. So this is kind of hilarious. The, this didn't work at all. I had set up the uh, the video with a false bottom on these uh, on these grocery bags, so they would just come apart, and I should have pulled right off. But of course, no. Silver weighs way too much for these things to. They got pinched and they never came came loose. So I thought I had a great plan here where my uh, my bags would come off super easy with a tiny little bit of uh, effort. And now I had to tear I had to tear right through them. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Oh hey, so for for those of you who are wondering if I actually have silver in here, let's uh, let's show you. At least I didn't even show any silver in this video, so. Look at that, we got some we got some bars hanging out there. 500 ounces of bars in this one. 500 bar ounces of bars in that one. What's this one? More, more bars. Let's see if that's in frame. Yep, that is in frame. Okay. And we got, this is the one I just recently had the purchase where the bars are really far down low because they're kind of narrow and, and easy. And then yes sorry bob we got more silver these are all rolls all the same let's see one of these is open i'm sure yep so a bunch of buffaloes whole whole can of buffaloes oh boy Just, there we go so 500 ounces of buffaloes in this can and notice they all fit 500 ounces in the ammo can. Good times. So, yeah, I didn't. I, I failed to do any silver porn until now, so I have to do the outtake. All right, here we go. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's too fun.